Sammy Story against a challenger for his British title. Sammy. The blue shorts, the yellow stripe down the sides, but more distinctively, the southpaw stance. Right foot, right foot forward. Right foot, right hand forward. Noel McGee. Something of a stranger to even fight fans here in Belfast. It's a long time since they've seen him in the ring. It's his first time in a professional boxing ring in Ireland. Where he had a, a fine amateur career. But since then, has been living in England. Stoke. And does all his training in Kirby in Liverpool. But a great night for Ulster fight fans, particularly Joel, to see two of their own in the ring fighting for a British title. Yeah, this is the sort of thing the, the Belfast fight fans love to see. Uh, their own, uh, from their own country, having a, a, a great battle. And uh, I would say these two guys will give value for money, without a doubt. Two very good fighters. That was a good right hand from Noel McGee. And a couple of a left and a right to let the champion know that he's not going to have it his own way in this contest here. Larry McConnell, the uh, referee. Noel McGee, who came in at 11-9, which is very, very light for the 12 stone division. That seemed very strange to me, Dave. Did you, uh, what was your reaction to it? Well, McGee coming in giving Sam five pounds virtually a weight, I thought it was very, very bad uh, on his trainer's behalf because they're the ones that look after your weight and tell you when, what weight to come in at and what to eat and what to drink to build your weight up. But I thought it was very unprofessional coming in at that 11 stone. In fact, he's closer to the middleweight, he's only two pound above middleweight, but five pound below super middleweight. So, in other words, he's probably a natural middleweight and not a super middleweight. Well, it might just make him quick on his feet coming in that much lighter, but he will lose the beef of the punch. Though he's landing good punches, good shots to uh, Sammy Story. The champion's face is reddened up in this first round. Well, there was no fencing and uh, trying each other out in that first round. They went at it hammer and tongs from the first bell. Sammy Story, the champion here with 14 fights behind him. 13 wins, that only defeat to Steve Collins when he lost the All-Ireland middle title in Boston. In the United States stopped seven of his 13 uh, victims. <laughs> Sammy Story, the southpaw. Not an orthodox southpaw, though. That is to say, he's not a natural southpaw. He's actually uh, a right-handed person. When he first started boxing, he uh, tended to discover in the gym that uh, most of the champions were unorthodox. That is, that they fought as for southpaws, so he thought, well, if it's good enough for them, I might as well try that myself. So he's a, a copycat southpaw, in fact. And it certainly has been very effective for him. One defeat in uh, 14 fights. 13, 13 he's taken out. And he will not let McGee off the hook at the moment. He came in with a good record. 16 wins out of 20. Knocked out four, stopped five more. Never ever been knocked out himself in uh, 20 fights. Oh, 
has been stopped once, but that was on cuts. And Story getting through with good, solid blows now. Good combinations. That's one thing about the Eastwood stable. Uh, there's no, you wouldn't be allowed to fight, not unless you were 100% fit. And Sam will be able to, to, uh, to stay, keep this pressure up for the next six, seven rounds without a doubt, because the fitness, the fitness level they maintain in Eastwood stable is unbelievable. McKee, McGee looks jaded already, so he does. He looks tired and jaded, and Sam still looks very strong. Well, McGee has certainly taken some really heavy punishes punishment that was a good short sharp right to the short ribs First blood to Sammy Story, a triple of blood coming from the nose of Noel McGee as the fourth round ends. And McGee is rather glad to get back to his corner. These are some really punishing body shots, Sam. They're unbelievable, and I'm sure McGee was glad to, to hear that bell because you could see him putting his arm down to, to cover his, his ribs and, and the rest of his lower body because they were so powerful and, and hurtful. Round six. I begin to wonder actually whether Noel Begee is really match fit for this championship challenge. He's had uh, just two fights in the last uh, 12 months. That fight with uh, Yves Monsieur, the Belgian, in February, where he got so badly cut, they had about 10 or 12 stitches in his eyes, needed plastic surgery. And he was out of the ring for a long time until um, October last, what was it, four or five weeks ago, uh, when he came in against Paul McCarthy, those are the only two fights that he's had in the last 12 months. And I think if you're out of the ring that length of time, Dave, the sharpness, you need a little bit more. Well, it depends on what sort of training you go through. But I was out of the ring for 15 months and come back and won a world title. But if you train hard enough, you can do it. But you have to, you need the right man behind you to do this type of thing. Like it's hard, but if you're the right man, it's half the battle. That right hand again, that hooking right hand, the power punching hand of the southpaw. The left hander. Though in uh, Story's case, of course, the right hand is his normal hand and is therefore his strongest hand in any case. Gutsy, genuine boxer who was so proud to come back to Belfast here. The town he left something over five, six years ago to show the, his old fans that he really had made it as a pro. And the sheer courage is keeping him going at the moment. Larry McConnell hovering around here wondering indeed whether McGee can take much more of this. He hasn't been down, but he is being hit regularly and constantly. Oh, 
And absolutely no signs at all that uh, Sammy Storey has punched himself out. He's still got plenty to, to pour on. He doesn't need to give him too much because Sammy Storey, as we can see here again, Dave, is doing it all the time. Yeah, every round here is a real war, and uh, Sam's doing just exactly what he has to do. As I said before, he, every punch he's thrown through, there's venom and power behind it, and he's step. Here we go. Sam's left hands, right hands, every punch is, there's real, real venom behind them all. Powerful sore. I don't know how McGee's, I don't know how he sticks this. Unreal, he's absorbing some punishment, so he is. You have to give him credit too for, for standing for standing here and taking this. Again, McGee pawing with the left hand, it hasn't got the snap that it was uh, delivering in the first round. I'm just wondering too now, with the weight difference, the fact that we talked about it earlier, I know Dave, that uh, he came in five pounds under the super middleweight 12 stone. Is that beginning to show, do you think, well, I would say that's, legs and so on? I would say that's what's happening now. Uh, McGee's beginning to slow down very much, so he is. Sam's still strong because he's that much heavier. And even looking at the two boxers, like, Sam's far stronger looking, far bigger looking in every way. McGee doesn't look like a super middleweight at all, so he doesn't. And the weight difference now will take its toll in these later rounds, so it will. who won his first 12 in a row starting at the age of 19 in May 1985 then won 12 straight to uh, August 87 but uh, he's had a bit of a thin time since then he's only won four out of eight in the last three years but as I said before he was campaigning at light heavy and giving weight away to practically everybody that he fought and he's giving weight away here to uh, Sam Story four and a half pounds and that is a lot Very tough and very strong, and to absorb what he has absorbed and still be standing on his feet is a, is a feat in its own, so it is because many of books would have crumbled under lesser pressure. He's very strong and very durable. You have to give the man credit for, for taking so much. Well, I'm still sure you appreciate back. yourself, uh, Dave, the pride that must be in Noel McGee coming back here to Belfast yeah. to take on the uh, champion. Two Belfast boys in this Ulster Hall. It's McGee's home country too, so I would say, I would say he feels more at home here than he does uh, possibly in, in, in England. Right. One-way traffic again. Seconds out. Quite scheduled for four more rounds. Unless uh, one of these two can find a knockout punch. Both of them have a record which shows that they have the capability to stop a man, but that sheer tiredness as much as anything that took Noel McGee down then. Two, three punches, and McGee has turned his back on it. He's 
dead tired. Turned away, and I think he's retired himself. But there's no question that Sammy Storey is still the British super middleweight champion, and what a super show he put on there. Well, it was Sammy again, as he had been right through this fight. And it looked to me as though Noel McGee had just had enough here. Sam Story, you've had many tremendous performances in the past, but surely that must have rated with one of the best. Yes, Adrian, I, um, I, felt, I felt great from start to finish, and uh, I, think the, I think all credit has to go to my trainer, Eddie Shaw, because, you know, some of the people that are here, they don't understand uh, the training I go through, and it's Eddie that puts me through it, along with Paul McCulloch. And once again, I'd like to thank Smirnoff, the sponsors, for because without them, obviously, I wouldn't be here tonight, so a big thanks to them all. And Sam McGee, he battled hard for a long, long time. Yeah, I, like, you have to give credit to Noel because uh, he was there from the start to the finish. I think I could have uh, finished it off earlier on, but you know, I knew he was strong, so I decided to just bit by the time, you know. And, uh, and I knew Noel anyway from the amateur days, and even though he did make a misquote that he beat me twice in the amateur, which that's the first we've ever met. <laughs> but I, you know, I was torn up to me, so I intend to keep it that way. Well, Sam, I think we can look at the finish down here on tape. If you look at it, can you talk us through it? Yeah, well, Eddie, the training here, kept saying, try and get close as you can to him on a straight left, and that's what it was working all the time. And every time I hit him, I knew that I was hurting him. And then I should have been throwing him more red hands to the body. But as I say, I felt good, and I'm glad oh, to get that one over me, you know. Left hand. Left hand. So that's it. Soccer coming up at a moment, but first, some highlights of earlier action here from the Ulster Hall.